Let's take a look at creating some alerts using the moving averages on the TradingView platform. First, we're going to create an alert when the price crosses a moving average, like in this chart here, we see the price crossing above that 13 SMA, and we'll create an alert when a moving average crosses another moving average. Now, these are my custom UBFX moving averages, and they have a bunch of alerts already in there. We're not going to use these alerts. We're going to use the alert system that TradingView already has available for us. So what I will do is I'm going to remove this 13 UBFX moving average, and I'm just going to add the platforms moving average. So in the indicators under technicals, moving average, I will choose the simple moving average. And now that's added to the chart. Let's edit that, make it a 13 shifted one style is going to be red. So this is the platform's moving average. If I double click this again under inputs, you'll see that there's no alerts added to this. So we're going to use the alerts that TradingView provides for us. Now there's four different ways to add an alert. The first way is through the alerts panel here. We click on the alarm clock and we get this panel that says create an alert. And then once you've created an alert, this option in this panel goes away as this is going to display the alerts that we have. Then we'll have to use the plus and that's going to add an alert. The second way is at the top of your charts, you've got this alert button. We'll click that and that's going to give us the alert setup window. The third way is you've got these indicators on your chart in the upper left corner. Clicking the three dots is going to give you the ability to add an alert. That again is going to give you that window. And finally, if we right click anywhere on the blank spot on the chart, we'll find that we have the add alert feature available to us. So the first one we're going to create is the price crossing this moving average. So first of all, I'm going to open the alerts tab. This is simply here to show us the alerts that we've created. Now let's right click on the chart and choose add an alert. From here, you're going to see the alerts user interface. We're going to choose the Euro Australian dollar because we're looking for the price to cross the moving average. Now, when you choose this, you can select any indicator that you have on your chart. So you can choose the indicator, or the price. And in this case, we want the price. So next you're going to find that because the price doesn't have any built-in alerts, you get the options below. And these are the trading view options available to you. So what we're looking for is crossing up. I want to get an alert when the price crosses above that 13 SMA. So I'll click crossing up and on the price, we can have the alert sound when the market crosses over a certain price, or we can choose the different indicators that are on the chart. So I'm going to use this 13 SMA. So now we've got the Euro Australian dollar on the 15 minute chart crossing up and over the 13 SMA. Once per bar close is the option I'm going to choose because this is going to give us that alert every time that happens on the candle close. And then down below, it gives us an alert message and we can customize this as we like. So I wrote Euro Australian dollar crosses above the 13 SMA and we'll hit create. And you're going to see in this alerts panel here, we have that new alert. Now this alert is going to be active until you deactivate it. You can delete it or you can just pause it. So when you hover over the alert, you get a few options. You get the pause or stop button. You get the settings where you can edit the alert and you've got this little X where you can remove the alert. So you can have this alert on all the time. And if the market's in a downtrend and you don't want the buy alert, you can simply pause that alert. And then when you want to reinitiate the alert, just click restart. And that's the first alert. It's really that simple. Creating an alert when the price crosses the moving average. So the next one is we're going to be looking at two really short term moving averages, the two and the five EMAs. And I want an alert when they cross over because those are going to be MA crossover signals. So let's add a couple of different indicators to the chart. I'm going to go to technicals. We'll type in moving average. And again, we get the options. Here is the moving average exponential. I'm going to click that two times and that'll apply two instances of that to the chart. We can see them here by default. They are nine periods. So I'll change the settings. The first one is going to be two and I'll hit OK. The second one, the setting for this one is going to be five 
and I'll hit OK. Now we've got a couple of moving averages on the chart. We don't have to have these visible on the chart. We can actually get rid of these, but still have the alerts functioning. And the way I do this is I'll hover over the EMA and click on the eye icon and that'll hide that alert. And again, on the second EMA, I'll click on the hide button and that will hide that EMA, but we can still create some alerts. So let's go to the EMA two, click on the three buttons, choose add alert and by default it gives us that ema2 again we can choose the price but we're using the ema2 so let's do that so the next step is crossing i want to cross up and value again i can have a crossing a certain price on the chart or a different average that we have on the chart and that'll be the ema5 so i'm going to have an alert when the two ema crosses above the five ema and i'll do that again once per bar close and the message two crossed above the five and I'll create that alert. And that alert shows up in this alerts panel. So I have the two crossed above the five alert. I have the Euro AUD crosses above the 13 SMA alert. Let's open this up a bit. There we go. And with this, because we have the alerts set to once per bar close, this alert will remain on and it will look at every bar close. So now if we don't want that, we can simply pause it or delete this alert. Now, because this is a crossed above, maybe I want a crossed below for either of these as well. So we'd simply repeat the process. Right click on the chart, add an alert, Euro AUD crossing down price is going to be the 13 SMA once per bar. Euro AUD crossed below the 13 SMA, create and one more time, right click, Add an alert, Euro AUD will be the two EMA crossing down below the five EMA once per bar close and the message two cross below the five create. And now we've got four different alerts functioning on this chart using the TradingView native alert system. We don't need to have an indicator that has those alerts built in when we're doing something like this. We can simply use the tools that TradingView has. And of course we can do the same thing with the UBFX moving averages. We'll simply create an alert. And instead of using the alerts that are built into the indicator, we'll go underneath that and use the alerts that are built into the trading view platform all right i hope this has been helpful this is how you can create moving average crossover alerts using just the trading view options